let's say in my part of the world, for instance, it is not the medium of education, the medium of respect, of merit, that is used to govern people, but they use the medium of fear to terrorize the people into a state of subjugation. Given the two time frames in which he was president, I think that after Nkrumah, uh, Jerry Rawlings should be the greatest leader of heart. But me, for one, I don't like him. Um, I think he's really charismatic. I think he talks a lot of rubbish sometimes, but, you know, he's one of those people, he starts talking. Whether you hate him or you like him, you will stop and listen. You enjoy power. You are power drunk now. That's why you stayed on and you call it a revolution. It's not worth it. With hindsight, you can ask, what did that achieve? Aren't we still suffering? Don't we have common people here who still don't have places to sleep, who don't have food to eat? Between 1982 and 1992, I was in prison 14 times, you understand. Some of my friends were not as lucky as I was. They died, you know, they were killed. So I've been the Sergeant Chimaka, now at your own and number one. Because at a point in your life, you have to stand up for something. So when you're talking about democracy, please, it may mean one thing to you here, but it means something else to some of us uh, where I come from, my continent.